Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I am out at Kleiner Park today. It is a beautiful Saturday morning. It is about, I'm looking at my watch, it's about 88 degrees out here right now. We're looking for a high today of about 105. So the sun is out, it's a blue sky day. Uh, as you guys may or some of you may or may not know, uh, I'm a member of the Valley Corvettes uh, uh, local Corvette club here in Idaho and I race on the uh, on the club's uh, racing team in the club challenge series with my Corvette uh, but today is Vet Fest here at Kleiner Park uh, there's a ton of Corvettes here from all around primarily the Northwest but some of them from across the country and uh, I brought the big dog with me I've got the uh, Mavic 3 Pro we got those three lenses. We'll be using those telephoto lenses and uh, we're going to launch this guy. We're going to get it up in the air and let you uh, take a look at some of those Corvettes. Of course, the beauty of this drone is I'll be able to stand off and be up at altitude so I'm not bothering anybody uh, with the, with the uh, noise of the drone, etc. Uh, but uh, anyway, let's quit messing around. Let's get this bird in the air. Okay, we're ready to take off here. Uh, the drone is reporting ready to go, doesn't need any calibrations or anything. Uh, I'm just shooting in 4K 30 frames per second, that way I can leave it in explore mode. Uh, that way I can zoom in or out as, as much as I want without stopping recording. Uh, so uh, anyway, let's start recording now and we'll just start by uh, getting kind of an overview of what's going on. Let's do a, uh, an automated takeoff right now. And we'll get, updated. we'll get the, uh, and it recorded its home point. We'll get the drone in the air here a little bit. Let me uh, uh, move off and turn around. So you can see where I'm sitting there. Uh, I, didn't, uh, I didn't raise the drone very high in the air, so I'm not worried about getting a precision landing, but uh, you can see where I'm sitting there. Sarah's here with me today. Uh, so uh, yeah, we're gonna as soon as we're done uh, getting some recording done here, we're gonna go over there to uh, Vet Fest, and I'll get some uh, recording done on the ground. So uh, anyway, let's uh, let's see. Let me see which way I can point this guy and get a uh, get our droney. So uh, reverse and up now. Reverse and up. So there we go, you can see where I'm at here. Picking that camera up just a little bit. And you guys, I am gonna move it around now and you're gonna see some Corvettes over on the other side of the pond over there. Well, the trees are doing a really good job of blocking them, aren't they? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab some altitude and go up here. Uh, so there you go. Now they're starting to come into view here. Uh, there are a lot of Corvettes in the park today. So let me drop that camera down. And, and the first thing that we're going to do is, uh, is do an orbit. Uh, in fact, you know, I'm almost thinking uh, that maybe I will use, I'm going to go and get us a get a point of interest and let's just do an automated orbit around this thing. So I'm going to set a point of interest kind of roughly in the middle there. Well, maybe uh, maybe that doesn't work in explore mode. I wonder if uh, uh, focus track does not work in it. Yeah, I don't think focus track works in explore mode. Uh, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, stop recording and we're going to go into normal video. Maybe. There we go. Normal video. Start recording again. And there I'll bet I'll be able to get it. Yes, I can. So uh, identifying the subject failed. I was just trying to pick a spot in space there. Yeah, and it's not going to do it. Let's, let's see if we can get up a little higher. And maybe whatever that uh, that red spot is there, let's try that. There it did it. So we're going to do point of interest, point of interest, 
and uh, we're going to go to the right. So we're going to click go. And the drone is going to do an automatic orbit for us around uh, that point of interest that I set there. Now, I'll be paying attention here uh, to see uh, if we're uh, if we're far enough uh, back as we get to the uh, to the other side, but this is kind of perfect. Uh, so you're kind of getting an overhead view of uh, of all of uh, Vetfest here. I don't know how many cars there are. Looks like uh, well, you know what? I'm looking at the main part of the park there. There's actually less cars there than I've seen in years past. So uh, I have a feeling that the heat might have something to do with it today. It looks like we got a whole row of red Corvettes in front there. Uh, but we'll get down here in a few minutes. We'll do some other. Uh, we'll get some uh, telephoto uh, views of. Uh, of this so we can get in close and look at some of this stuff but I kind of wanted to give you the overhead first. So where that picnic shelter is is where uh, the Master of Ceremonies is at and where they'll be doing all of the uh, uh, the awards presentations etc at the end of the show. Today is the culmination of a three-day event uh, and in fact I think later on today they do another cruise this afternoon uh, I did not enter my Corvette in this year, uh, uh, quite frankly, so I could do some, have time to do some of this kind of stuff and not, uh, not be worried about uh, all that. Uh, in years past, they've had a racing component to VetFest. I would have been all in on that, but uh, for whatever reason, uh, they, they didn't do that this year. So anyway, it looks like we have about uh, uh, completed our full lap there so I'm gonna stop right there and I just click the stop button so uh, so let's I'm gonna do something else here let's go along the uh, let's see if we can get a, a reveal up and over so I need to get out of that spotlight mode I was wondering why I couldn't yaw over and that was uh, operator error because I still was in spotlight mode so I moved that out and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over the pond over here the small pond let's uh, Let's get down a lot lower and we'll see if we can do a reveal. Come up uh, from behind the tree here. So let's pick that camera up. We're gonna turn the drone around here and, uh, and see if we can kind of get a reveal of the, uh, of the main part. Yeah, there's nobody right there. So good, there's a guy fishing right there. Let's pick that camera up a little bit and I'm gonna get a little bit lower. I got trees here, so of course, fortunately, this drone has obstacle avoidance. So, okay, so here's what we're going to do: we're going to come, we're going to go up and forward, and see if we can. Let's pick that camera up, and then we'll lower the camera as we come up over the trees here. So let's just go right towards the trees, and then we're going to go up. And the beauty of this drone is that you can do this and, and that obstacle avoidance is squawking at me. But there it is. There's VetFest right there. Uh, and we'll, uh, let's grab a little bit more altitude and I'm gonna move to the right. I always favor uh, right hand uh, movement. And the cool thing about this drone again is you have that obstacle avoidance. Uh, so. I'm going to back up just a little bit, grab just a little more altitude because I just don't want to be over the top of any of these folks. And uh, yeah, no, I need to pick that camera back up. I had it a little too low there. Let's keep going around here. And we'll just kind of do a lap around and take a look. Looks like we've got kind of a gap there that I could. Uh, fly through. But uh, I'll tell you, this drone definitely inspires confidence uh, because of the obstacle avoidance and you know you just don't have to worry about uh, whether the drone is going to hit a tree or, or, or a light pole or something like that. It's got that kind of intelligence built into it. 
uh, that you can confidently get these kind of shots. And we'll get off and we will uh, we'll do some telephoto and get in close to some of these uh, some of these cars here. I think I can. I think I can get down low here. We'll we'll try because there's some open grass here in front where we wouldn't be flying over any people or anything. But the other thing that I'm going to do here before we uh, finish this shot is uh, there's some Corvettes on the other side, so we don't want to forget them. So we're going to get over. We're just going to go fly right down the middle of the main Broadway here, we'll call it, and we'll see if we can uh, get some pictures of the Corvettes on the other side here. There's more here than I initially thought with that initial flyover. So let's take a look at these guys. Yeah, here we go. We can, these guys probably have a little more shade than the guys on the other side. So let's kind of just do a little bit of an orbit around this crew. Well, there's some beautiful Corvettes down there. And uh, when we get done with this orbit, we'll, uh, we'll see if we can uh, get some telephoto shots here and kind of get an up close on, on some of these guys. I'm telling you, the Mavic 3 Pro is the perfect drone for this kind of event. Uh, you can really get the shots with this guy, so uh, yeah, I'm liking it a lot. So we got kind of a gap here. We can finish this orbit here around this part. And then uh, what we're going to do is... Uh, I, I saw an area on the other side that I think I could get the drone down lower and get some close-in shots. So we're going to move back to the main part here. And I'm going to get on the far side over there and see if I can get the drone down lower. And and there are no, uh, there are no people there. There are... I think we can kind of get in here and get some get some nice uh, low shots. So let's bring the drone down. Get down low here. And we're not going to bother anybody, I think. Get some low shots here. We're over the grass, so this shouldn't bother anybody. Get some good shots here. We're kind of in the back of uh, a lot of these cars. Again, the cool thing about this drone is you're not worried about moving sideways into a uh, into a uh, uh, a uh, uh, tree or anything because of the obstacle avoidance feature. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of people that didn't want to be out in this main area here. So let me uh, let me grab some altitude, and we'll see if we can uh, get some telephoto shots here. So I'm going to stop recording, and then I'm going to move to that 3 by telephoto. Let's see what that does for us. Wow, and boy, oh boy, let's touch the screen, see if we can... Yeah. Oh, it's in pro mode. We want to go into auto. Okay. That that's better. Well, that gets us in pretty close, doesn't it? Yeah. Let me grab some altitude here so I know I'm way above everything and I'm going to back off where I know I'm uh, kind of behind where people are going to be walking. And yeah, look at those red Corvettes all in a row there. That is beautiful. Somebody was thinking there, weren't they? Yeah, this telephoto, uh, three by telephoto, really helps you get in good and close. And in fact, I think what we want to do here is I did not start recording there, so let's start that over. And I'm going to move back the other way. So we got the three by telephoto. And we got that row of red Corvettes right there. Good battery time on this drone. We still have 59% uh, battery.
yeah pretty cool let's uh, see if we can get over the main drag here move sideways across and uh, let's get telephoto in on some of those uh, Corvettes on the other side oh I missed those guys right there okay let's move this direction And yeah, these guys right here. Get a, get a little bit closer look at them. We'll even try some 7x telephoto here in a, in a little bit. Getting a good look at these guys. Okay, I'm going to do something else here. I am going to back off back out and I'm going to try and do a, uh, a reveal from this side so let's pick that camera up drone is almost right above me now it's amazing how far away you're uh, with this 3 by telephoto and we're going to bring the drone down here in fact I'm tempted yeah, there's just really, I'm just trying to think of a good way to get a reveal here, but these trees aren't really allowing. I'm going to go back to one by zoom. There we go. You can see how far away we were. So I wonder what I think I can do is I can get behind this tree, this big tree by the, uh, by the, uh, uh, the uh, band shell here, and that's probably the place for the reveal, isn't it? Okay, drop down a little more, and, uh, and then we're going to pick the drone up. Let's move a little more this way. We're going to pick the drone up, move forward, and drop that camera down as we come over the top of the tree. And look at that, there's Corvettes. Is that beautiful or what? Yeah, that worked. Okie dokie. So now we have, uh, I think what we need to do now, and you know what? I wasn't recording there. That's the problem when uh, you stop recording. So. I'm going to do that all over again. I'm going to go back over. When you change lenses uh, and you have to stop recording, and, and I, I, I took it out of explorer mode because I wanted to do that, uh, that uh, focus track point of interest, uh, and that kind of messed me up. Uh, so if, if I were in uh, explorer mode, I could, uh, I could just leave it uh, in... Uh, I'd leave it recording the whole time. So we're going to start recording again here. We're going to try that one more time. As we move forward here, we're going to pick it up and drop the camera down. And there's Corvettes. And we're going to slowly move around here. Yeah, I kind of messed that up, but we're going to keep going here. And the, like I said, again, the cool thing about this drone is you can be fairly low to the trees and not be so worried about it because uh, it's got that excellent obstacle avoidance. And I kind of messed that one up. Let's move a little bit back the other way. I wasn't as smooth as I could have been there. I still want to see if I can do this uh, from the lake here. So let's move out here. We're going to move out here onto the lake. And we're going to try this again. This looks like a good tree. So, uh, okay, let's kind of get behind. You can still see the Corvettes, but I think I can get kind of behind this tree here. Yeah, this might work. 
Okay, we're going to move forward and up and drop the camera down. And there's all those beautiful Corvettes. And we'll move sideways here and kind of get you another bit of a look. Okay, I am down to 41% battery, so we're in good shape there. Yeah, yeah, this worked a lot better. Uh, I think that worked out pretty good. Okay, I'm going to pick that camera up. We're going to go back over the pond. Straight forward and uh, get to the other side again. And I want to try... Uh, we're going to shoot in that 7x zoom, and I'm going to see if I can get you in close to, uh, well, there was that row of red Corvettes out in front there, and I think this 7x zoom camera is perfect for that. So let's kind of get out over the side here. Yeah, look at this. Okay, this is the perfect spot. So, uh, so let's, uh, in fact, yeah, there we go. Let me center it up. And I'm going to stop recording again. Okay, we're at 7 by Zoom. And uh, you guys probably noticed the skip there. I, again, forgot to start recording when I switched it into 7 by. But there is uh, the red Corvettes. There's a C8. There's a C7 right next to that. And that next one is a C6, 6th uh, generation. The one next to that is a 5th generation Corvette. And then that one with the clamshell hood, uh, that is a fourth generation Corvette, C4. And then we got a bunch of C3s. So these three red ones that we're looking at the back of are, uh, are C3s. Uh, and then I should have mentioned right there, that other one with its hood up, is, excuse me, I, I misspoke there. Uh, the ones with the back to us are second generation Corvettes, C2s. The one with the hood up is a C3. Uh, third generation Corvettes. So these three down here are, are second generation Corvettes, as is this other one uh, here with the uh, with the st uh, stinger on the uh, on the hood there. And then right next to that, that is a first generation Corvette. That's single headlight. That's got to be a 55, 56, something like that. And oh, I see another red one right here. We'll get center on him. Uh, that is a C7 as well seventh generation Corvette. Okay, I'm going to switch back into uh, just uh, wide angle, no zoom. You can see how far away we are. That's how far away we are with the drone. And what I want to try and do is get to the other side. So, but you know, obviously we want to, there's a, there's so many people over there that it's, it's kind of difficult, but that's where this, uh, this lands on this thing. So we're going to go clear over on the other side here by the uh, by the hill and that way we're not uh, over the top of anybody not over the top of uh, you know you got a play area there and so forth but I think we can get over here and I think uh, start recording again <laughs> oh that's the trouble that's why you want to leave it in explorer mode okay stop recording we're gonna go into seven by zoom there, that gives you a look. We're going to start recording. There we are recording. So uh, this will allow me to give you a look at all of these uh, Corvettes here uh, on the main part of the uh, of the park here. Uh, there is every generation you can think of there. I see a lot of uh, C7, C8s. Yeah, there's every bit row of C3s there, uh, right there. Uh, stingrays. Uh, it looks like they maybe they kind of put them in rows here. Yeah, it looks like you kind of got the C8s in the back and then the C7s. And I definitely see a row of C3s, third generation Corvettes. So they're vaguely uh, kind of in generation there. And again, you know, with this uh, with this zoom, we are, we are way off and way away. Uh, but we can still get a good look at these guys. And we are getting down to, the drone is very quickly here going to go into, uh, yeah, low battery return to home, which it's doing right now. And I'm just going to let the drone do that. So uh, 
bringing it back here. It will come back and it should switch. Yeah, it switched to uh, one by. I'm going to start recording. And it's coming back to us an automated flight. And uh, let's, uh, I'm going to drop the camera down as we come. I have no expectation of a precision landing. We didn't, uh, I didn't take the drone up high enough to do that, but uh, let's see. You can see where we're at kind of uh, by the, in between these trees here. Down it comes. Landing. So you can see it's pretty darn close, but let's see if it zeroes in on that pad. Looks like we might be mowing a little, uh, a little grass. I'll hit pause if I need to. Yeah, it's gonna mow a little grass. Back it up just a little bit. Yeah, the obstacle avoidance kicked in there. Yeah, it's, it's, the OA is really keeping me from being able to move it around. Landing. So we, we landed half in the grass anyway, so we mowed a little grass. Stop recording. Let me get everything shut down and we'll do a quick conclusion. Hey, okay, uh, the DJI Mavic 3 Pro, what a perfect drone for this event. We used all three of the, uh, the big lenses on this bad boy and we were able to get in close and still stand off with the drone, keep the drone uh, way out, you know, away from people, et cetera. Uh, yeah, so we, I, you know, you saw me experimenting around there trying to get some reveals and so forth, so we'll see how that looks. Well, you guys will have already seen. Uh, what you probably won't see, I'm sure I'll cut out of the video, is there were numerous times that I changed lenses and forgot to start recording because I was in regular video mode uh, I was in regular video mode uh, because I, I, at one point when I first started out there and I tried to do that, uh, that point of interest while in the focus track suite, uh, you can't do that in explorer mode. So you got to be just in regular video. Uh, so anyway, that's what ha you know, that's why you're going to see a few gaps there because I'll just cut that out. You don't, you don't need to see that when I wasn't recording. I do have a screen recording, but, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, so you guys, you guys saw what you got to see there. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, it was kind of fun to look at all those Corvettes. I'm going to, uh, uh, put this guy up again and just see if I can get some, just some nice shots that I can give to the Corvette club, take some pictures, etc. Uh, and then uh, I'm also going to go out there, uh, stay tuned for some bonus content uh, after this video because I'm going to, I'm going to try and do a hyperlapse with my iPhone walking kind of in between the Corvettes out there. So we'll see how that turns out. Maybe I'll do some other video, etc. cetera. So uh, anyway, stay tuned after for some bonus content. Uh, this is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I really appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.